in this video i will talk about the single side bend suppressed carrier modulation and demodulation so first let's consider what is modulation and how we will perform it the single side bend suppressed carrier modulation can be done by this block diagram in which the message signal m of t is a message single signal which is multiplied with the carrier signal cos omega ct similarly the message signal is give a shift of minus pi by 2 which become the uh, m h of t then it is multiplied by the shifted version of carrier signal omega ct and then both of these signals are added then after that we are getting single side band suppressed carrier signal and the demodulation is done when the single side band suppressed carrier signal is multiplied with the uh, local oscillator or the carrier signal in this case omega ct so after that it is passed with a low pass filter to remove the higher frequency terms and after that the demodulated signal of suppressed carrier single side band is achieved or the you can say the original message is achieved so consider this is a message signal having amplitude of 1 and frequency 2 pi into 2k this is multiplying with the carrier signal cos omega ct having amplitude of 1 frequency of 2 pi into 100k and I give a shift of minus pi by 2 because this signal is a sign signal to make it cause you need to give a shift of minus pi by 2 similarly for the lower side this is a shifted version of message signal having the frequency of 2 pi into 2k and amplitude of 1 and I give a shift of minus pi by 2 as it's indicated in the block diagram then this is multiplying with a shifted version of local oscillator or a carrier signal cos omega ct and this is 2 pi having a frequency of 2 pi 100k amplitude of 1 and a 0 degree phase why because this was a cos it, this was a sign signal and i give a shift of minus pi by 2 and convert it, it to cos omega ct and this is already a sine omega ct uh, wave right now these are multiplied both and i am adding these here after that i will get a local oscillator i am getting a single side band signal for demodulation this this signal the single side band signal is multiplied again with the local oscillator as yes, here i am multiplying it with the local oscillator here and after that i am passing to the loop pass filter and i will get the original signal here i will obtain three graphs the first will show the original message the second will show us the single side band suppressed carrier and the third one will show the demodulated signal so and i will run this program now so the program runs successfully now let's get the result here it is there is my original message it is my single side band suppressed carrier modulated signal and this is my demodulated signal the original and this is the modulated one right so that was it and my registration number is 201 at 223